morning, YouTube. Welcome to the video. You know what, it's been a while since I posted and that's such a bad habit to just post once in a while. You get new subscribers and then they just expect something from you and you don't post. So that needs to change. But in today's video, I'm gonna start off with a big meal. I got probably two, three weeks left until I really start to have to start to focus on shredding down for the summer. But this is my meal, first meal of the day, with two servings of light cream cheese, 120 grams of egg whites, some low sugar syrup, uh, <laughs> syrup ketchup, four servings of oats with Walden Farms, uh, Walden Farms syrup with some peanut butter at the bottom, mm, that's the best. Had some of my greens in the morning, this is some good stuff. And uh, man, it's at 867 calories. Protein's at 45, carbs at 125, fat is at 22. So I'm gonna eat this meal, head to the gym with the boys, and move on to the rest of the video. Row and pull down. So we're just doing it back, and uh, my buddy Jeski, he bought a mag, mag grip. It's one of the, Craziest things I've ever used. I used it at Elf Land during my prep, but how much was it? I don't remember. It wasn't bad. He got it free from Seabum, so. The house is smoky. Cooked the, I cooked a burger, turkey burger inside the house, and it's pretty smoky. Right, guys, what do you think of these new kicks? Not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm tired, man. Constantly snowing and it's April. Have to move to Miami. No tan, because that's how we do it. As pale as it gets right here, folks. By the way, in the, in the link down below, you guys, I, I created my six day push pull leg split. I created it on Notion. It is really awesome. If you don't know what Notion is, it's kind of like, say the Google Sheets on steroids, it's so much fun to use. It's really easy to use as well. So you can download the app on your phone and you can download uh, my push pull legs split, six day split on your phone. I have a video on how to use it and stuff, but I'll show you here. You know, it's pretty sick. Uh, this is like the Notion to, again, you can get on your phone. I have everything, you know, fundamentals of the program, week one, all the way to week eight. Got this performance thing as well, where it shows these charts so you can put in your PRs on your deadlift, overhead press, and bench press. So, it's really cool, it's fun to use, and you can track it, and you can also download it as a PDF if you want. So download it if you want it, give it a test. I think it's, I think it's great, it's been working for me. This is a sort of a program I go on when I want to put on a lot of mass, and uh, muscle mass and strength, so. I have some more details on it. It's a link link in the description. You can download it. It's free. Have fun with it. All right, so I want to talk about competing and whether or not you want to compete or not, you should think about this first before you do. Now, I, I don't think most people watching my channel are like all competitors and they want to compete. This is something I wanted to share. I had a few people reach out to me on social media being like, hey man, how was your first competition? Any tips? Any tips? And I think all people know with doing something hard that is going to be physically hard and mentally hard, it's gonna take a toll on all aspects of your life. Now, some people might be like, hey, I've always wanted to try it before, you know, I work out, I've always wanted to compete on stage before, maybe not everyone, but some people might think that. That's what I thought about last year, it's like, I just wanted to do it once, right? I didn't really know what I was getting into, I just knew that was gonna take a lot of work, but essentially the one thing that I would tell most people is you got to tell the people that you, you are around with, like your friends, your family, your significant other that, hey, a lot of my time is gonna be allocated in these other areas to bettering myself physically and mentally for this competition. You're constantly meal prepping, you're doing cardio, you're working out, and as the weeks go down and you get closer to your show, it just gets harder physically to, to work out and also mentally because you start craving so much food, you start wanting to just go full bulk mode, savage mode and eat everything in front of you, but you have to stay on track. And that's hard too, but I think the hardest thing for me was being away from so much, like going to a family dinner and having to bring my fish and asparagus 
and weigh it all out in front of everyone and they all like understood they're like oh cool keeper's doing this thing but it was just it was hard it was hard to do that instead of just like really kind of enjoying a meal with my family but i think ultimately everyone should test themselves physically and mentally long term and see how long they can do it for i mean our bodies are machines and you can build this machine up the machine that you have to become ultimately the best version of yourself and that high that i got after the competition i went to in and out and i almost burst but it was amazing like it was it was an amazing feeling you know i grew up playing sports i don't know about you but i grew up playing soccer a lot of the time and i, I missed that competitive advantage but it's weird training for 12, 16 weeks, never seeing your competitors and then like meeting them on stage. You're like, oh my, that person looks amazing. That person's doing a great job. But ultimately, just think about how much time it's going to take. I think that's something that you must think about and you might, you should communicate with others too before you do it. Anyways, I just thought I'd share my thoughts on competing. It's, it was a great experience. I might compete again. I don't know because it takes so much time and effort. But ultimately, you know, there's no kids right now. There's not too much responsibility. So might as well go f full beast mode and try my best and maybe, maybe perhaps get my pro card. Bigger than my head. All right, YouTube. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you're gonna compete or you wanna do something that is hard, just do it, just do it. You'll feel better. And then when you don't do it, you feel like, I wish I would've done that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.